The biggest killers in today's world are heart disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. And sugar feeds these diseases like wildfire. I took one of my clients, Ryan, to meet my doctor to show us the effects of sugar on the human body. We were shocked by what we Hello. discovered. Hey, doctor, how are you? Good, Ryan, glad to see you. Come on in. Have a seat. Great to see you. Thanks for having us in. Hi, Jorge. And tell me how many pounds you've lost, Sonny. I've lost 47 pounds. And how much are you been uh, consuming about? About 15 grams of sugar or less per day. Let's do it. So let's do it. So we first drew Ryan's blood in a healthy state, and then we looked at it under a very powerful microscope. This is, the, this is what you want healthy blood to look like. All of the cells are individualized, uh, there's no clumping, you get, you're developing energy. Mm -hmm. The red blood cells are bringing the oxygen. If they're clumped together, they can't bring the oxygen to your tissue beds. Right. So that's important. That is about as healthy a picture of blood as I, was, I could ever see. Okay, so this is someone who's really cut down on their level of sh in sugar intake. Uh, Whatever you want to be able to see. That's right. I, all right, you guys ready to go eat? All right. Come on. This is where the kitchen's at. So now it was time to eat. So we started to look at some options. And uh, what Ryan ended up eating was just some simple stuff that most Americans would eat on any typical morning. Things you would find in your house and things that parents would be happy to give to their kids. Nothing too crazy, really. Just everyday food. It didn't really look like Ryan overloaded on sugar. But in that course of that small 10 minutes, he had almost 200 grams of sugar. Nice snack. Let's see what happens to the blood. All right. Well, I'm excited to see this, Ryan. What do you think? What's uh, what's going through your mind right now? Yeah, well, how are you feeling? What do you think your blood's feeling? I mean, well, let's see. I don't know. I guess it feels a little tingly up here because it's you know sugar <laughs> and levels that I'm not used to doing anymore. Right. After eating and ingesting 200 grams of sugar, within about 15 to 20 minutes, we take a second sample of your blood. And what we see is rouleau, that's a French word meaning stack of coins, where you've lost the ability to have your energy manufactured in the body. You can no longer bring the energy to your cellular beds. You also have something called spicules. These are platelets which have mutated from their normal disc shape to needle-like projections giving appearances of cracked glass. There are heavy proteins in the blood, and it slows the liver down due to much fat that develops in the blood. So when we have this stacking of, I and mean, I like to, I, I kind of, like, don't you think, they look like caterpillars. You look at caterpillars, and the sugar actually does convert in the liver to fat. Yes, right. That's what's happening. So it's like gluing it together. Gluing it together. Americans are ingesting as tremendous amounts of high fructose corn syrup, along with all of these synthetic chemicals like sucralose, which is splendor, aspartame, these are toxic chemicals, and their cells are being held together by duct tape. Wow. And they don't know it. Wow. They don't know it. And when this reveals a very image, a very powerful image of what happens to you, this is very powerful. When you think about this, Ryan, when you see this, I mean, what, what do you see when you look at yourself like caterpillar? Well, to look at it as before, and then now this, uh, I'm just in shock and uh, I, before I started cutting out the sugar I would imagine my blood looked like that constantly.